But the American Jobs Plan is about saying, we are going to invest in America's future. And I'll tell you guys, Maggie and, and Jean knows this, and, and, and all of us know this, any member of Congress, um, you know, we get information, some of it classified, some of it, you read it in the paper, about how, a question about whether we are keeping or losing our competitive edge as a nation. And we need to pay attention to that. And we have to pay attention to it, yes, in the context of national security, but let's, let's look at it also just in the context of what I like to call American aspiration. The very nature of who we are is we know how to aspire to see things that can be regardless of what has been. And in our greatest moments, we have then invested in that vision where we agree we are not going to be incremental in our approach. We're not going to say, oh, yeah, we'll take it slow one day at a time. No, we say, let's be big. And when we set the bar high, the very nature of American aspiration is such that we always jump for it, and we do it. We said we were going to go to the moon, and then we planted a flag there. That's who we are. So the American Jobs Plan, you know, some people will say, oh, you know, that's a really ambitious plan. That's a lot. Well, sometimes it takes a lot of courage, a lot of vision, a lot of faith in the American people. Yeah, that's a lot to do the things that reflect who we are and have been as a nation in our greatest moments. And so that's what the American Jobs Plan is about. And it is about, yes, roads and bridges and, and, th and thinking about what families and working people need to get to work. But it's also about an investment in our future in terms of what we need to do to actually be competitive, to create jobs and rise to this moment in the history of our country. And so that's where we are, and it's very exciting. You know, we've come off of, and we're still in it, but the, the, we see a light at the end of the tunnel in terms of all that this pandemic has wrought in terms of the loss of life and jobs and normalcy. And this, I believe, is one of those things, this push to invest in America's future that is gonna give people a great sense of hope about what is possible and to remind people about what is possible. Again, when we set the bar high because we know we are capable of reaching it. 